Random radio, random discussion show. This is Lorenzo Tomas. We we're back. It's brand new. Last week was my birthday. I gave you guys a rerun. Eh, that's, that's, that's my birthday. I gotta get a rerun. All right, so make sure you guys go and check out the Random Radio podcast show up at YouTube and SoundCloud right now, playing all of the best artists. Uh, in the whole entire world, because if they're playing on random radio, they are truly the best artists in the entire planet. So make sure you guys go check that out at YouTube and SoundCloud right now. All right, this week I have a special guest. I've known this guy for a long time. Matter of fact, let's give him let's give him a really good introduction. This guy, I've known him since the beginning of Random Radio. He has been a huge supporter since the beginning. He has been listening to the show, sending in music. Voting for some of you people who have won the random battle, so you all should give him a shout out too. This is none other than one of my homies, Mr. Vincent Scram Jones. How you feeling, man? I'm good, I'm good. How about yourself? I'm doing great, I'm doing great, man. Where have you been, Vincent? What has been going on with you? What's man, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we even get started, Vincent, tell the people who is Vincent. Who is Vincent Scram Jones, man? Who are you? Where you from? Tell the people that. Uh, yeah, my name is Vince. Um, I'm from Chicago. Uh, I am a PR. I do public relations work, so if anybody needs it, uh, bios, I help you clean up your act. If you didn't say something stupid, got yourself in some trouble. <laughs> um, so I kind of just took a step back. You know, I've just been grinding, working in the background, but I'm always out here, though. Yeah. So, Vincent, who are some of the artists that you have worked with uh, that we may know so that the people out there can know just, just, just so they, 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 they can know you're not playing around out here? Yeah, most of uh, So, yeah, I've, I've worked with actually quite a few artists. Uh, I've worked with, uh, recently, if you've been listening to the show, I've worked with Shavias, uh Sirius. He's been on here a couple of times. Mm-hmm. My homie Nate Grams, you know, we're close to. I've also worked with Chief Keef. Uh, I've worked with mainstream artists as well. Uh, SD, rest in peace, Fredo Santana. I've worked with him too. Okay, okay. So, a lot. Of, Vincent is the guy to know. He's in Chicago. You're in Chicago, right, Vincent? Actually, I'm in Vegas now. He's in Vegas now. You're in Vegas now? You're not in Chicago anymore? Nah, I'm not, bro. Awesome, awesome. So now he's in Vegas, which means he's doing big things. He's probably running a casino. He probably has a casino. So if you guys want to go to Vincent Scram Jones' casino, what's it called, Vincent? Wait, wait, what's the casino called? <laughs> it's called Vincent Scram Jones Casino. That's what it's called. <laughs> we don't need no special names. It's in his basement. So and there you go. <laughs> So Vincent, this is totally off topic, but how how is the queen of the castle? He has a little girl who is running the show. For all you who don't know, he has a little girl who is running the show. She is running everything. How the queen of the castle? Yeah, man, she's she's wonderful, man. She'll be on uh, seven next month on the 18th. Awesome. Uh, you know she the boss. She she's she's a sarcastic asshole now, to be honest. But uh, I still love her just as much. <laughs> That is so great. That is so great. So, Vincent, it's 2018. You have gone on to bigger things in Las Vegas. What can we expect from you in 2018? What can we expect from some of your artists in 2018? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so Shavias, uh, you might have heard Miles Sauce on here. If you hadn't heard it, uh, definitely check that out. It's on YouTube. It's on Instagram. It's on Facebook. Trending on his page, Shavias' music. Um, but he's got a project he's working on that's currently untitled, but be on the lookout for that. Details coming real soon. Uh, my other artist, Christian, too. Uh, you can find him at I Am Only Chris. Same thing, he got a project he's working on. They're actually working on a project together, so that's why we don't have a title just yet. But you can find him on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, anywhere at I Am Only Chris. Okay, and that's that's Christian Sirius Houston. We've, we've played him a few times on there. I believe we have. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so Vincent is here. Because he wants to talk about Kanye West and the issues that have been going on. So for those of you people who don't know, apparently Kanye West, while I had a birthday, while it was the King's Day, because the King's Day was May 8th, while it was the King's Day, apparently there was some other non-King-like things going on with Kanye West, which I don't appreciate because that took all the attention away from the King's Day, which is so wrong. So, Vincent... As, before we go into this song, let's just give a little, a little, a little prelude. What are your thoughts on some of the things that Kanye West had to say around the King's Day? What are some of the things that you that you feel about some of the things that he said? 
Man, that's 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 a big question because uh, there's so many places I can start. Keep it, keep but, it, uh, keep it, keep it general until we go a little bit deep. Because we, I just want to get a little precursor before I know what we're getting into in the second half of the show. What do you think about some of the things he said in general? So, so what he what he said as a, as a PR person, uh, also as a marketing major there you in college. Go. What he said honestly was amazing. He he did what he was supposed to do. He did what he set out to do. Uh, he achieved his goal. His goal was to get you guys to listen. Was to get you to hear him. Was to get you talking about him, whether it's good or bad. You know, I've always been told any publicity is good publicity. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. Uh, you know, personally, I'm just gonna be honest. With you. I I was trying to stay away from this, and my yeah. interns were like, no, 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 you got to talk about it because I felt like you know Kanye West is not talking about random radio. He is not out there saying, and y'all need to go listen to random radio. He ain't doing none of that. I just don't feel like we should be talking about him. But I understand that it is a topic. It's very touchy to some people, and very, 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 very uh, has a lot of a lot of African Americans are in uproar, especially about the slavery is a choice comment. What were your thoughts about that particular comment? And then, and then we're we're gonna jump into some music. But what was your what was your thoughts about that comment? Four hundred years sounds like a choice to me. Yeah, ab- absolutely. So you, you know what? To be honest. What he, I, I get what he's trying to say, but Kanye West is not an amazing speaker. You know, that's that's not his forte. He says whatever comes to his mind, which is often wrong. So as far as slavery was a choice, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, and you know, this might be a, put a sour taste in people's mouth, but I do agree to an extent oh! with what, what he was saying. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna end it right there. We're gonna jump into some music, and then, because I, I know people are like, ah, I'm sure people's keyboards and phones have all fell out their ears. <laughs> so hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get back to Vincent. We're gonna find out why he feels that way. Right now, we have some music from an artist that Vincent knows, named Filth Cat. This guy yes, is, sir. this guy's music is eh, but Vincent likes it. So this is Filth Cat's new song featuring Big Greed. The name of the song is called Blaze It Up. You guys check out Filth Cat's music everywhere. SoundCloud, Facebook, YouTube, Reverb Nation. Everybody here has hot music, hot music everywhere. Vincent Scram Jones was with us, with us talking about Kanye West. He also feels like slavery was a choice. We got some Filth Cat and Big Greed right now. We'll be back, Vincent. You'll be back? Hey, yeah, I'll be back. All right, we'll, we'll be back. We're going to talk more with Vincent in a minute. We'll be back. Random Radio. Excuse my jargon, eyes low and red, so I guess all I see is target. Get in my fam in the mix, like we was all partridge. Bitch blowing me clean, like an old Nintendo cartridge. Mind blown, flying like cyclones arriving, and I'm on an island in my own time zone. Mind blown, chronic got me flown, flying like drone. Try as fuck, they just chafing up. Run to the guap, hoes chasing us. We ball all night and they hating us. Trees on me, that is a must. Grind it all up till it turn to dust. My blood be fat, that they about to bust. Put me in the zone like I should off the rust. Crush the molly, then parachute. Got me on track like a parachute. She wanna fuck, I can see the clues. You could've fucked, but you missed the cue. No joking, excuse my smoking. Crowd of white people, you can see me talking. Straight to the head, they say I'm dope. When it comes to suffering, I'm always on. I don't pass a horse, I got the molly for a holly's and I just pop the sports. Edibles 
just like Kevin, yo. Mix mine with some syrup and seven, though. I'm on Pops and Zaddy's in a depico. Getting high all day with no effort, though. Just a half a stroke with some senses, bro. Turn some fruits into some vegetables. Let this whole drain my fucking testicles. And we high as hell, we celestial. Blaze it up. Blaze it up. Ain't no reason to fake it up. Roll that pack, that grind that bug. My homie, let's bake it up. Blaze it up. What's up everyone, this is Taz the Artist. I am here to talk about the Random Radio Compilation Album Part 2. Random Radio Compilation Part 2 features some of the best artists that have been featured on Random Radio. It also features my song, Lose Control. I'm about to lose, I'm about to lose control. I'm about to lose control. I'm about to lose control. Random Radio Compilation Part 2 is up at SoundCloud and YouTube. Go listen to it now. Support your boy. You are listening to Random Radio. Do your mixes sound flat and lifeless? Does the crack of your snares hurt every time you turn your music up? Are your 808s floppy and lacking the bass you just know they should have? If so, it's time for you to hit up Artist Music Engineering to get your next single radio ready. Artist Music is a Pensado Award nominated, full service mixing and mastering company dedicated to making your song sound just as good as the pros. It doesn't matter if your music is hip hop, pop, rock, EDM, or bluegrass. Artist Music will take your mix to the next level, allowing it to compete on an equal playing field with today's hits. So, what are you waiting for? Contact us at www soundcloud.com backslash art is music engineering and get your singles sounding like hits today Lorenzo Tomas here for the random discussion show hey are you an artist with some very strong political views are you an activist who is out there trying to clean up these streets with your words and with your actions contact us at rrpshow at gmail.com we would love to have you on the random discussion show let your opinion be heard voice your thoughts Tell the people what you think, and don't be afraid to hear new ideas. Make sure that you hit us up at rrpshow at gmail.com today and schedule yourself an interview so that we can hook you up and put you on the show. By the way, did I mention it was free? Yeah, it costs you nothing. Just hit us up, rrpshow at gmail.com. Say you want to be scheduled for the random discussion show, we'll book you today. It's that simple. Let your voice be heard, man. Hit us up, rrpshow at gmail.com. Get on the random discussion show today. Hey, random radio. If you haven't done so yet, go follow us on Twitter at RRP Show. That's at RRP Show. Twitter at RRP Show. Random Radio. That was Filth Cat featuring Big Green. And that song was called Blaze It Up. Right now on the discussion show, we have Vincent Scram Jones. A uh, good, good friend of mine. Uh, he, he is, we are talking about Kanye West before the break, before we went to the music, Vincent Scram Jones said, is everybody okay? Does everybody have their bearings back? Is everybody back sitting down? Not upset? Relax. Let's give him a chance to explain. Vincent Scram Jones said that he agrees with Kanye West that 
slavery it was a choice so before we get to this i want to give people a little background so there are some artists there are some people who are listening who listen to the show and they have no idea what has happened last week i do realize that let me give you some background i believe it was the end of april kanye west uh announced that he was he supports donald trump and he also supports a young lady named candace owens who is a conservative uh thinker and uh, she has a podcast and some YouTube pages. She, she speaks conservatively about America and about issues going on. Uh, per, a week later, well, not, not, not even a week later, a day later, Kanye West and T.I. had a song together that was out. And then some other song came out that was political that was out by Kanye West. You know, irony, right? Oh. So then, <laughs> so then, a couple weeks later, or one week later, during the king's birthday, the king is I. Then Kanye West went on a tirade at TMZ talking about how slavery was a choice and how, you know, there's all these issues going on in the world that nobody's talking about. And then people have been in an outrage and in an uproar. Now here we are, Vincent Scram Jones, who has also said that he agrees that slavery was a choice. Now, Vincent, how can you say that? There were so many African Americans who were brought over here on slave ships and the white man just snatched the kings and queens from their land. How could it be a choice? Who? Ch how is that a choice, Vincent? How is that a choice? So, so yeah, so yeah. So let me, so let me interject first. You know, it's, it's, it's not that slavery was a choice and that's not the point that he or nor I was making. The point is that slavery went on a lot longer than it should have been. You know, a lot of people don't know that slavery actually still continued, even on, even on into the 1900s. You know, you had people that were indentured servants and they chose to be. You had people that had family members that still served as slaves because that was the only thing that they knew. Mm -hmm. You know, and and a point that well, they were sharecroppers. Made, then. They were they weren't slaves. They were sharecroppers. So you you have people that also that also worked. I mean, under other families. I mean, they they they've lived in. They don't have their own freedom. They don't vote. They, there's a lot of things that they don't do that they continue to do, even in the 1900s. That was really similar to slavery. Okay, okay. So, so what you're saying is, and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, which, what you and I think what you're saying Kanye West is saying is that slavery was a state of mind? Exactly, exactly, and that, and that's where and that's where I was. That's where he was going with that. And again, you know, I'm gonna go back to what I said. The way that he said it and the way he led off with that, again, he achieved his goal to get you to listen. You know, I was just I was just having this conversation with one of my best friends, actually, uh, Shavias. We just talked about it. Um, that if it was a YouTube video, right, and you were scrolling down YouTube, whatever, you looking for new Kanye West music, and Kanye West had a YouTube video that the headline said slavery was a choice. You would have clicked on it. Right. You would have clicked on it just to see what he was talking about. Right. Just to see where he was going with that. So from a business standpoint, um, from a marketing standpoint, from a PR standpoint, he wanted you to listen. That's why he led with that. And so many people have went far enough to listen to an hour interview where most people won't even won't listen to anything for an hour. If it's longer than seven seven seconds in our generation, people don't pay attention. That's very true. That's very true. I mean, I I, I was one of the first ones to say. When's the album dropping? As soon as I heard that, you know, he's exactly. Donald Trump, I said, when's the album dropping? Because he's been out. Uh, we haven't heard about him. When's the album dropping? Then when I heard that he had the songs, the first thing I thought was, I don't believe any of this. I don't believe that any of this is true. I don't believe that he supports Donald Trump. I don't believe any of this. Now, what I think today is I think that, um, I, th I still think that this is not about Donald Trump. This is not about this is not about his views. I think that this is about an album that is coming out that is going to be controversial because he's probably going to say things about Donald Trump. What I have often said to people is that if Kanye West really wants to prove to me that he is breaking away from the music system and that he wants to be controversial, he'll do what Michael Jackson did and he'll start talking about the Zionists. And he'll start talking about how Zionists are controlling the industry and Zionists this and Zionists that and the Federal Reserve Bank. When Kanye West does that, then I will know that Kanye West is completely not, not being uh, pushed by some label to do this because I still think that this is all his label doing this. I don't. I don't even think that any of this is real. What do you think about that? 
So I, I think, honestly, to be, you know, this is crazy because I don't trust a lot of celebrities and the opinions that they, they share on television and on TV and stuff like that. All of those things are thought out before they even speak, before mm-hmm. they even open their mouths. Mm-hmm. Even when they get themselves in trouble. Yep. That's what a lot of people don't realize. But I actually think what Kanye says is genuine. I mean, he even said that, he said, to quote Kanye West, he said that he does not support, he didn't vote. But if he did, he would have voted for Trump. Now let's analyze that statement. You know, a lot of people they're they're gasping. You know, and he even brought up a a, a statement where he said a few years ago, um, it was cool to talk about Donald Trump in your songs. Yes. You know, to he did say that. to That's basically, true. yeah, exactly. You know, to have him in your video, whatever yep. the case may be. Yep. So let's analyze those statements, right? So what people don't realize is your your favorite celebrities, whether they be artists businessmen designers whatever they are they're just what i just said they're businessmen right and donald trump is pro business right large business not small business so whether your favorite artists are 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 basically advertising it or not if they voted they probably voted for donald trump okay they're not voting to help the democrats or the middle class or the lower class because they no longer identify with those people i don't, I don't know i don't know i think that jay-z voted for Hillary, for Killary Hillary, I think he did. I don't think that Jay Z or or um, Snoop Dogg voted for Donald Trump. I think they really did vote for Killary Hillary simply because they believe in the Democratic Party. Jay Z, I think that's arguable. Someone like Snoop Dogg, who's not rich, you know what I'm saying? They're richer than us, but those people aren't rich. A few million, a few million dollars is attainable right. in a lifetime. You know, right, right. 20, 30 million is even attainable in a lifetime, you know? But people that are making several hundred million dollars, like, okay, P. Diddy, do yeah. you think he voted for Hillary Trump? No, no. Well, I I know I know that P. Diddy uh, was pro-Trump. Same thing with Shaquille O'Neal, same thing with Ice Cube. They were pro-Trump. They they exactly. stated before he even, when he before he won the primaries, they were saying how they were pro-Trump. But Jay-Z has never been pro-Trump. And that's and well, that that's something that I I'd have to look further into. I haven't paid that much attention to it. But, yeah, he's he's but, funded. But, he helped fund the Hillary Clinton campaign. He helped fund the okay. Democrat, and he's becoming more in politics, which I don't like because I don't think that Jay Z is a good person for politics. I think he's terrible because his view is skewed on the world simply because I don't I don't know what what world he lives in. You come from a privileged background. You did not do some of the things that you claim that you have done. Other people around you did, and now here you are. You've been working with white people who have helped you become so successful. You have the audacity to say that the system is against black people when you've never been a victim of the system, and the person who you're defending is a felon so I, I don't i don't i don't understand why jay-z is even a part of politics he's bad for politics but he did support the, the hillary campaign now whether or not he voted or not maybe maybe he didn't vote at all but he did give up money to support that campaign right right and you know what it's just you know just just going back to the statement that i you know i just made i think it's i think it's extremely interesting that Kanye West speaks his mind, you know. He before he even said the slavery was a choice thing, like you said, the internet was an uproar just because this dude said he supported Trump. Yeah, that's true. But but I applaud him for being able to stand up and and if he does believe in the whole Trump campaign, to say what he believes in. You know, well, number see, one, I, I'm not going to share my political views, but I will say that I'm not for Trump. Well, the, well but nor was I for Hillary. Well, 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 here's my thing, right? So, and, and that's what I said before, right? See, to me, the whole Trump and Hillary thing, it doesn't really matter, right? Because who cares? Who really cares? The, to me, I would know. That's why I said I don't believe it. Because I would know that Kanye West is really trying to inform us or teach us something if he said to me, man, if he said to the, to the people, hey, these Zionists got y'all got y'all thinking this way about yourselves as black folks communism has you thinking this way about yourself as black people the, we giving too much money to israel if he was to say these things then i would know hey kanye west really is trying to he's, he's trying to get killed because he's really trying to expose some truth but donald yeah. trump to me that's a surface issue that america wants us to we they want us to pay attention to donald trump and talk about how we don't like him or how we do like him as if it makes a difference of course of course and, and, and even back to what you said you know there's again you know even what we talked about there's a bigger plan behind everything so you know one uh, another point that i made to my my other friend you know is is number one 
Kanye West doesn't care how many albums you buy. He doesn't care how many you listen to. You know, the, the industry is not like it used to be. People right. don't make money off album sales. Right. As a matter of fact, they make money off the fact that their music is being purchased by Spotify. That's right. They make money by, you know, their music is being played on YouTube. You know, think about just recently, five years ago, you know, there was a point where you went to YouTube and everything was censored. You couldn't find music because it was all copyrighted. Right. Now, all of a sudden, you can find whole albums on YouTube. Yeah. That's because yeah. they, ha they have an agreement. Yeah. You know, so number one, his music is taken care of. You don't ever have to worry about, about that. And Americans, we make up a very small percent That's of the right. people who even buy music because we right. don't, That's which right. is the problem. Right. But the biggest thing is, is like I said, these people, they're business owners. They have businesses. You know, it's really funny that, that he talks all of these things. He says all of these things. And then Adidas, Adidas you know, if if I'm correct, I don't, I don't really keep up with Yeezys, but they got up to say that, oh, he doesn't bring in that big of a percentage of sales, but he's got a new shoe coming out. Right. You know what I'm saying? And right. now everybody's paying attention to him. The spotlight's on him. Right. And then the reason why this is good for Donald Trump, too, because we have background political issues we have background issues you know like the fact that you know the whole bombing that just happened you know mm -hmm. it's it's crazy that we're talking more about Kanye West than we are talking about um, a national crisis that just occurred but that's you know, the or, even, or even advancements the but fact that we, you know we've we made peace with North Korea something we've been trying to do for how long now right right for almost 50, for 50 60 years I believe exactly and and my biggest problem with everything that went on is I think it's sad that number one Kanye West is bashed for saying that he believes in free love and loving people and thinking on your own yes, yes. and number two that that is more important than some of the issues that we have you know going on today you know, but if Migos, you right. know, if Migos say something, they talk about rapping, trapping, fucking, killing nigga. That shit sells. Everybody wants to hear that. Well, you know well, what I'm saying? Well, it's 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 almost like it's almost the hypocrisy with feminists who support Cardi B. I just don't mm -hmm. understand it. How can you be a feminist and then you support a woman who truly, truly does not exemplify the the, the feminist movement? However, however, th that's more important. That would be more important than say. You're right. The bombings that are happening in Syria or the situation that we have was like I keep telling people and I keep saying it because, you know, people need to know uh, the the money that we're giving to Israel, the agenda, the uh, the U.N. Agenda 2030. Like you said, the North Korea deal. What does that really mean? Why? Why is it more important? Why aren't we talking about this this thing with Korea? Why aren't we talking about this Iran nuclear deal that has been totally stopped? Why is it that the focus of the general people, the millennials and the general masses is that we need to discuss Kanye West and who was the latest person that was accused of sexual assault for something that he did or alleged did 20 years ago? <laughs> so I agree. I agree with you 100%. I, I mean, I... And this is going to shock, well, this probably won't shock anybody who's been listening to the show. I, I agree with Kanye West. It, it, and, and I agree with you too, Vincent. This uh, um, slavery was only 244 years, first of all. Let's make sure that we're clear on that. It was only 244 years. And so the 400 years of slavery would have to be everything that encompasses the 150 years afterwards, after slavery, that we are living in today. And if that is slavery, then that is a choice. Because as the great Thomas Sowell has said in his book, Black, Black Red, Next White Liberals, the African Americans were, the African American who, ex, who left slavery never was talking about his time in slavery. He never was sitting around harping about his time in slavery because he used his skills in slavery to go and work. It is the people, it is the blacks of 1930 and 1940 who were complaining about the slavery of blacks. So that is similar to what we have today, Vincent, where we have all these individuals who are out here complaining about something that they never lived through. What do you think about that? Oh, uh, man, that's 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 a, a larger issue in itself. You know, it's just. But don't you think that that's part of the problem here is that we're constantly focusing, you know, you know, like, like, for instance, if we didn't focus so much on slavery, maybe understanding what Kanye West said 
would be it, maybe it would be more open right more people would be more open to understanding that if we didn't every year have to bring up slavery blacks are always bringing up slavery it's the first thing they bring up oh we were slaves as if the people of Mauritania were not slaves until 2003 as if the Ottomans did not enslave the other side of Africa until long after the 1800s when we were free as if the Arab the Arab nations were not enslaved by the Ottomans and the French I mean it's, it's, it's like there would there have been as if the term slave does not come from the Slavic people who were the original slaves so right. they, they bring that up and and all these other ethnic groups have been able to accept their slavery and say well we've we've, we've moved past that because African Americans can't and don't you think we have a problem with people who live today and have never experienced slavery but are complaining the most right and I mean you know what For, first of all I mean it's it's a catch-22, you know, and even even though we could keep going back to Kanye West, and it's so crazy that we can found we can find this profoundness, you know, and something that he said, you know, he said that we should focus on the future, we should focus on teaching the future, yeah. and not so much the past. But the problem is, is with the problem with us being enslaved versus other nations that were enslaved prior to us or even after us, is the psychological damage that it did to us. It's the hindrance that happened because yeah. not. After slavery, you know, we might not have been in chains, but they found other ways to put us in chains. They found other ways to make us not equal or in inadequate. But how much and now, that, not, not, now, now, when you say that, when you say they, I'm assuming that you mean white people. And when you say that, how? How did they do that? The, 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 that was done through even the racial divide you know and prior to the 50s and things like that you know you had we were we were not equal we weren't allowed to you know eat at certain restaurants you know we all know the story right you had jim crow. The jim crow. and stuff like that but you do and know that jim, as a violent but you do know that jim crow was only in the south it was not in the north and it wasn't in every southern state it was only in like maybe i think eight or eight or nine maybe ten states and most blacks had moved to the north so so what was done to us so I mean, even even though Jim Crow was only in the South, that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean that we were totally equal. That doesn't mean that we were, you know, that doesn't mean that we were treated also fairly. You know, my mother, for example, is is not a young woman. My mother had me at, at 35 years old. You know, my mother is now 63. Okay. So the thing is, is my mom was born in the 50s. So she was born in that period where where everything was tumultuous. You okay. know, tumultuous. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, so to speak, things were on the decline. But well, things were still. Well, his, I remember. I remember my mother telling me. You know, I grew up in Harvey. I okay. remember my mother telling me that Harvey used to be a white neighborhood. Harvey okay. used to be segregated. Okay. That downtown Harvey is called downtown Harvey for a reason because it was downtown. Okay. I remember her telling me how she couldn't go downtown in Harvey. Okay. You know, we're we're in the north. This is Midwest, but we're further north than you know. Right. Southern states, obviously. Right, right. So that, with that being said, just because things weren't as bad doesn't mean they weren't bad. Well, well. So, so here's, so here's, here's a problem with some of the things that you're saying. You, you, do you, you do know that you jumped a hundred years in history, right? You do know that you went from the end of slavery all the way to 1950. You do know there's a portion of time, in, there's a portion of time in there, right? Well, these relationships between whites and blacks were not like this. And with the introduction of the NAACP and the ACLU in 1930s and the 1920s. That is when things got bad between blacks and whites. Because for a long time, after slavery, white people were not Scottish, they were not Irish, they were not Italian, they were not German, they were not Russian. White people were considered only the people who were elite, you could trace your ancestry back to colonialists, or you are a person who owned land in the North or in the South. You were a white American, but nobody else was a white American. It was the black groups, that decided that all of them are white. They all are white. But if you remember, there was a mafia, a bunch of Italians, there was an Irish mafia. These people did not consider themselves white and white people didn't consider themselves white. So black people actually made up 65% of the labor force in 1930. And then with the introduction of the civil rights movement and then, and then the civil rights laws passed in 1965, they then made up 40% of the labor population that's not racism by white folks that's us and yeah I, I agree that that's a, a contributing factor but you know it's, it's kind of like the problem is is it's is I can't agree with either side fully you know number one you know me personally so yeah. I've never said 
white people. That's oh, such a general of term. Course. Don't point fingers. I would at never everybody. be friends with you if you ever said that. <laughs> you gotta point fingers at the people who oppressed you, at the people who did you wrong. You know, I don't. I'm not. I'm not. I, I have friends that you know. Unfortunately, they say, "Oh, I couldn't get this job because I was black," or "I couldn't do this," or "Or I don't have white privilege." I mean, there's when you're born, do they just stamp white privilege on your on your birth certificate? I mean, I'm tr- well, well, well. I I hear the thing about white privilege all the time, and my combat to that is that we all have privileges. Do you not yeah. think that a a beautiful woman, black, white, Asian, whatever, do you think she does? Not not have privileges seriously i agree i mean a beautiful black woman is going to have privileges and i'm and i mean a bunch of white men will probably fall all over themselves for this beautiful black woman especially if she's nice oh my god oh my god she's nice and she's smiling first of all i don't think people understand the privileges of smiling they don't get that smiling will provide you with privileges looking good provides you with privileges being tall provides you with privileges being muscular provides you with privileges being short provides you with privileges being in a wheelchair provides you with privileges whether people believe it or not we all have privileges exactly and i i i get what you i get what you're going for you know and i i agree so the thing is is you know people may African Americans sound like it's just so miserable when it's not. You know what I'm it's saying? Not. You know, it's just it's just that uh, unfortunately, you know, as we keep talking about, you know, we keep going back to Kanye West, and, and that's the reason why I love that interview so much is because he talks about being able to think freely, but we grow up in the societies where it's not okay to think freely. That's where it's true. not okay to agree with Kanye West. Where it's not okay to open up a book and read, you know, and 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 find details of your situation or your history, or your tutelage, or whatever. That's very true. You know, it's 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 crazy that those are the things that are shunned. You know, as we just talked about, it's not okay to read up on current current events. You know, I, I think of everything from a business standpoint, from a business aspect. You know, and I just I have a friend that I just talked to, just talked to. We were just having a conversation. And this dude was telling me he, he makes a lot of money. He's doing really good. You know, we started off doing some of the same things. And this dude was telling me, oh, I just got an apartment where I pay seventeen hundred dollars a month for rent why and he was all happy about that and he just told me before that he had a he had a he had a, he had a status up on facebook where he was talking about how he was gonna buy an audi you know that's great you're gonna buy an audi and you're gonna live in a 1700 a month apartment when you could be taking that same money and you could buy an apartment complex yes and you can have people pay you yes or you could buy or you could buy a crappy car but take the rest of the money and invest it in the stock market and hey, you can get you some damn Those- bitcoin Exactly, Bitcoin. Those are the those are the things. Those are the things that we are not taught. Those are the things that we choose to ignore. You know, those nobody's gonna I'm say, "Oh no, that. you can't own property because you're black." It I'm doesn't work like that. that anymore. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. You you said it right there. You said it. These are the things that we choose to ignore. That is that is the key. That is the key thing, Vincent. These are the things that we we choose to ignore information about bitcoin got tons of you know do you know how many black drug dealers could invest in bitcoin right now they can invest in bitcoin you just nobody's telling you to stop selling drugs just let your money grow while you, if in case you get locked up if you invest in bitcoin when you get out who knows <laughs> who knows who knows i, I mean I, 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 go ahead go ahead go ahead but what I will say, what I will say though, so you know, I'm talking about, you know, how we have the same opportunities at, at this point. I believe our mindset though has been poisoned. You know, even though we just talked about slavery, we talked about oppression, we talked about all of those things. Mm-hmm. That wasn't that long ago. You're right. That was two generations maybe ago. You know, where our parents were fighting for our freedom, yeah. and then their parents were fighting for to have their own mindsets because they were poisoned by drugs and things like that in the communities. So now we have. A brand new mindset of fresh thinking people. I do quote unquote. You can't see it, but fresh thinking people oh, where they don't say, have those influences. I was gonna say because I'm about to say, who the hell is fresh thinking around here? Ain't nobody got no fresh thinking <laughs> thoughts <laughs> around here. <Free> thinking, I'm <laughs> sorry. But 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 so now the problem is is yes we are playing catch up, but the the thing is is we are. <laughs> I apologize to all the rest of the listeners out there, but we are an amazing race and we are powerful. When we figure that out and we figure out how to unify and have our own culture, man, it's, well, it's, it's scary. It's scary. There's so many things that we're good at and there's so many things that are not taught to us that need to be taught to us. But at the same time, I don't think that's completely our fault that we don't have those, those opportunities. So it's like I feel for people, 
but I can't sit here and mope about it. You know, being 27 years old, it's, it's time to start doing something different. I agree. I agree with that 100%. If you want to know something, you should either go read it, learn about it yourself, go, don't ask someone, or you can always check out the Random Radio podcast, the video show, Random Radio discussion show, because I am always telling you things that you need to know, and they're all true. So, Vince is Graham Jones. If people want to get in touch with you, man, if people want to want to want to work with you on music, maybe, maybe they want to tell you about how you suck because you think slavery <laughs> was a choice. How do they get in touch with you? What's your Facebook? What's your Twitter? What's your email? Well, how do they get in touch with you, man? What do they got to do? Yeah, man, most definitely. You know, it's crazy. I'm always telling my artists to make their name the same across the board, and mine isn't the same across the board. Oh. But uh, anyways, my <laughs> Facebook is my first name. It's V-I-N. S O N, I know that's crazy. Scram, like you're running fast. Jones, like the last name. So you can find it. It'll come right up. Nobody else has that. And then my Instagram name is repair underscore man and underscore and like four more mans. So if you can remember that, if you're all that fan, you can go ahead and follow me. I know that's a lot to remember, but you'll figure it out. You're a smart guy. Do you, do you have a Everybody Twitter? Listening. Do you have a Twitter? <laughs> you know what? I don't have a Twitter. Twitter, uh, Twitter you need to to be instant you have to constantly respond to it and i just at the moment i don't have that type of time so it's unfortunate but i will be getting that though i feel you all right so we will have vincent's facebook information on our facebook page for all you lazy people who do want to type in everything that he just said and you can just go there and then click there you go and click the page there to be there all right so vincent before i let you go man is there anybody you want to give a shout out to is there any parting words that you want to leave with the with the wakandans is there anybody that you want to say <laughs> anything you want to say yeah, absolutely. I, I do, as a matter of fact. I'm going to keep it short, though. But uh, shout out to my boy, Filth Cat. You know, he's, he's a good dude. He's a funny dude. Uh, you know, we always got good history, too, and I'm going to continue to work with him. Definitely check him out, listen to his music. Jesus C. Christ. Riz, uh, Stop. definitely that guy Shabayas. Sucks. That guy sucks. But, uh, that guy feels that sucks. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> but, uh, but, the, but the last thing I do want to think, I, I'm sorry, I do want to leave to everybody is, if you didn't take anything else from what Kanye West said, if you don't agree with anything he says, free thinking definitely it's okay to be yourself and it is okay to disagree that's what pushes you and creates you and changes you as an individual thinking for yourself not letting anybody else do that that's right i like that all right this is vincent scram jones this is lorenzo tomas we're going to some commercial breaks think for yourself people random radio what's good world this is your boy Twizzle White Peace here to talk to you about the Random Radio Compilation Album Part 2. The Random Radio Compilation Album features some of the best rappers from past shows. It also features my song, The Random Symphony. Yes, it's me, T. White Peace. Big shout out, R.I.P. You don't like me, kiss the ring. You won't fight me, your sissy, you're pissy, full of envy, full of money's what my pockets be, and I'm rocking non-stop, cop and guap, on and off the clock, see? Random Radio Compilation Album is available on YouTube and SoundCloud right now, so go listen, you won't be disappointed, and guess what, you're listening to Random Radio Podcast. The Rizzo Tomas here for Royal Skate and Apparel. Royal Skate and Apparel is where I get all of my skating gear. I don't go nowhere else. And also, I go and check out their weekly showcases where they have all music of all kinds there and they let these artists perform and get down all the time. Now, if you're interested in hitting up Royal Skate and Apparel, make sure you go to 3429 Ridge Road in Lansing, Illinois. That is 3429 Ridge Road in Lansing, Illinois. Or you can always hit up GJ at 708-297-4596. That's 708-297-4596. Or you can go to their Facebook page at facebook.com backslash Royal SNA. Royal Skating and Apparel. Tell them right on Radio sent you. Hey, Lorenzo Tomas here for Random Radio. Random Radio is looking to interview you. Yes, you. You could be like this guy. Yo, this is Dunk Williams of the 219. Or you could be like her. Hey, y'all. My name is Sherry Rose. Yeah. All you got to do is email us at rrpshow at gmail.com and we'll set you up. It's that simple. And it's free. Did we mention that? Did we mention it was free? I just mentioned it, right? It's free. It's free. It'll cost you nothing. All you got to do is send us 
and email to rrpshow at gmail.com today. Wait. There's more. Also, when we conduct the interview, you can send us one of your tracks and we'll play one of your songs during the interview. Yeah, it's just that simple. All of this for free. Email us at rrpshow at gmail.com. Sign up for your free interview today. What you got to lose? Hit us up. Right on radio. We'll talk to you soon, man. If you haven't done it yet, go like us on Facebook. That's right. Facebook.com slash rrpshow. Facebook.com slash RRP show. Facebook.com slash RRP show. Make sure you guys check out Vincent Scram Jones. He's got hot music. He's promoting hot new people everywhere. Check him out. Make sure you guys check out the Random Radio podcast show up at YouTube and SoundCloud right now. Don't forget to check it out every Sunday. Brand new episodes. All right. I'm going to see you guys next Wednesday. Make sure you start your Wednesday morning off right with a random discussion show. Yeah. yeah you are listening to Random Radio.